Hi, good morning everybody. It's Eileen here from uh, Pinch of Salt. I am going to show you my chicken coop. It's not quite finished, so we're just going outside. It's a really, really dreary day here today. Really dreary. It's that rain that just, it's not hardly raining, but you get soaked. It's that fine drizzle. So I'm going to take you out into the garden. I'm just going to turn you around. So please excuse some of the mess in my garden because it's progress. I'm going to go into my muddy grass. Ugh. It just won't dry out this weather. And here's our chicken coop. No chicken jet, as you can see. So we've put it at the bottom of the garden. It's going to have a run, but where the ground is so, so wet at the moment, we've not been able to sort the run out. So that's their little area at the bottom of the coop. And it's got a little gate, and you can open the gate to let them out, to run riot in the garden, which is what we normally do. They, they love the garden. So that's a little, and it's a nice little area if we, if we do go out during the day and it rains or the weather's a bit grotty and we haven't and they don't want to go in their coop they can hide underneath there and that's where we'll keep all their food and their water as well this is another little door oh i can't open it it slides for some reason it won't slide i'll have to see why that won't slide but that will slide upwards and we can peek at the chickens that would have been their door to get in and out but we've lifted it up there's a little vent hole and we've got gonna have four chickens so there's two so each side there's two nest boxes so that's one nest box and also we can close it and lock it and and there's the other nest box so yeah so there's our chicken coop ready and waiting for our chickens maybe we might get them this sunday we're just we're just not sure because of the weather it just won't let us get out here to do the run as you can see the ground is absolutely sodden absolutely soaked so um maybe if we get some um maybe frosty weather would help so we can um get the run out and just like so the ground's a bit harder but there you go there's my chicken coop ready for the chickens when we get them so i could just take you back indoors look at look see how muddy everything is and i'm probably going to traipse mud all the way through my kitchen now so i'm going to just slip my boots off oh so i've just been to iceland um and next door to iceland is oh let me take my boots off Shouldn't have really gone out there in my Uggs. Not a good thing to go to the garden. So I've just been to Iceland's. And next door to Iceland's is a Poundland. So I've done a little haul at Poundland. So I'm just going to go through it with you. So I've got some anti-back wipes. These are really good if you just want to give your kitchen a quick wipe over. Or your toilet a quick wipe over. And they are 36 packs of wipes. And they're called Mr. Valet. And they were a pound, which I thought was really good. Um, I bought some SIF multi-purpose because um, I just needed a multi-purpose cleaner. I'd run out of fairy, so I saw this one. It is obviously a foreign one, but it looks lemon. Let me just smell it. I didn't need to smell it, but yeah, it's lemon, and I love lemon. So I got that. That was a pound. I like this disinfectant. It's the Flora Concentrated one. And I oh know it's not Christmas and it's probably, it's cranberry and orange, but I really like cranberry and I really like orange, so I've picked that one up. And it's really strong, so I need a tiny, tiny little bit. I needed some rinse aid for my dishwasher. And this was only a pound, so I thought, give it a go. I usually buy the finished one or the Tesco one, but I thought, well, I'll give that one a go. Um, I always buy this fabric a uh, refresher for my sofas and the curtains and um, the um, my mats and stuff and it's really good it's the Astonish one again that's only a pound and it's a huge bottle it's 750 ml and it's just as good as any other uh, fabric freshener that you can buy I bought some flash I love this for my floors and I just do my floors I just love the smell and I love the you know the way it leaves my floors so I bought that and that was a pound as well, 469 mil one, so that's quite good. This is really, really good. I haven't been able to get hold of this for ages. I've been buying normal window cleaner, but this white vinegar from Astonish is brilliant. 
and I'm so pleased they've got it back in again. So I picked up one of those, it's a pound, and it, it does your windows. It's you know, if you use vinegar and water, it's the old fashioned way, it's the same thing, but just you don't have to mix it up yourself. So I picked that up, and I was really pleased I had that back in. I got this for two pounds, even though it's pound land, a lot of things aren't a pound. Um, and it's the Febreze Vanilla Blossom, and it's the, the where you put the sticks in. Um, and I've got one already for my bathroom, it's nearly run out. And this um, is going to be a replacement, and they're really good for a small bathroom. We needed a black sax, so I got 45 sacks, and they were a pound. Um, I bought some Minto's gum. My handbag I always like to have chewing gum around, so I should have had today, and then maybe I wouldn't have gone to McDonald's and had pancakes and a McMuffin for breakfast. I probably would have not wanted to have had my breath defreshed. So I bought some of those. Oh, I absolutely love cherry drops. And I've spotted them in the Paramount today and I thought, can't resist. I absolutely love cherry drops. So I treat myself to a bag of cherry drops. Um, I wanted to look for a low fat snack for my husband and they had the pink and whites there. It's a bumper pack. There's like 14 in there and they're really low. I remember when I was, um, I think they're only, how many, they're 50 calories each. So, you know, if he wants a nice sweet snack with a cup of tea, that's a really good thing for him to have, so I bought them. These, however, are not a low fat sweet. <gasps> Twinkies. Now, when I go to Florida, my daughter always asks me, Mum, bring me a couple of boxes of Twinkies back. So I always go to Walmart. They're the best price in Walmart. They've normally got them. And she loves them. Well, at the moment, she's not feeling 100%. She's a bit poorly at the moment. So I saw those and I thought, oh, I'll get her some Twinkies. And there's only four and they're a pound for four. They're probably a bit smaller than the ones you get in um, in uh, Walmart. But they're a pound. So as I'm not going to be going to Florida anytime soon, because looks like my husband's operation is not going to go ahead until after April, because... At the moment, the NHS have cancelled or aren't doing any operations that are not emergencies or cancer related. So very unhappy with that. Um, so it means that we were due to go, hope we were due to go to Florida again in June to make up for the one we had to cancel because he was poorly in um, October. But we may have to makes that a bit later in the year because at the moment he's not going to get any letters until after April unless he is outsourced outside privately which I doubt very much that's going to happen so very very disappointed at the moment but hey ho you know his health comes first so that's that's the main thing so we're just going to wait for his operation because we cannot travel um, because no one will insure us and I will not travel without insurance, not after the, he was in hospital, <coughs> excuse me, for two weeks with this, um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat, rabbit, with his illness, so, however, we may have to holiday here in the UK, but there are some beautiful places here, so that's good, so we'll look into looking somewhere, I, I'm thinking about maybe going up to Scotland for June if we can't go to Orlando, so, and exploring Scotland, but, more about that later in the year. So I bought some large sponges, car cleaning sponges. I might leave these out as a subtle hint for my husband because my car is so dirty. And I hate cleaning my car. Hate it. I don't know why. I just hate it. So if I sort of leave them lying around, he might go, oh, do you want me to clean your car the weekend? And I go, oh, would you? That would be lovely. So new car sponges. So next door to Poundland is an Iceland. And look at this glorious bag. Look at this. Let me just pop it over here so you can see it in all its glory. Oh, look at that recycling bag. That is so, so gorgeous. Couldn't resist. So I had a bag. I've got loads of recycling, recycled bags or recycling bags or reusable bags, but I could not resist this beautiful Minnie Mouse bag. Isn't it gorgeous? I think it was only £1.50. So couldn't resist, so I picked that up. Uh, but I must remember to use it. I'm going to put a pop it in the boot of my car so I reuse it all the time. <gasps> it's gorgeous. So I quickly popped in Iceland's. Could not resist that they had 100% extra free on Nobbly Bobblies for £1.50. 
eight knobbly bobblies for £1.50. They are so good. I'm have to hide them because if my girls come round or especially um, one of my daughter's partners, he absolutely loves knobbly bobblies. So I thought I'd get them in the freezer. Um, pancake mix coming up to Shrove Tuesday. I normally do make my own pancakes, but I thought, oh, I'll just, it was only a pound. Um, so I thought I'd just grab that just to put in my storage room. Dad says in case um, I didn't have any flour to make my own pancakes. I bought a mature cheddar because I went to get my cheese out the other day. And it was mouldy and so normally I'll cut the mould off, but it was too much mould to cut off. So that was only a pound. I needed some milk. We're not out of milk, but I thought, oh, so we've got some for the end of the week. They have this huge, huge tomato ketchup. Look at that, two pound. It's massive. And it is a, set, a 900, a 910 gram for two pound. A 30% extra free. So I thought, brilliant, I'll grab that because I am running low on ketchup. I don't use it, my husband does. Um, they had the fry lights on offer as well. So all you on, guys on Slimming World or uh, watching your fat intake, Iceland's have got fry light on for £1.50 which is a brilliant brilliant price because it's normally about £2.49 so they've got all the different ones and I did notice there was a new one there a rapeseed one so fry lights on offer I bought this couscous mix it's couscous with vegetables and I thought I'm going to try and make my own uh, chicken goujons tonight and um, I thought that would be lovely to go with our chicken goujons so that was my little tiny Iceland haul. Wasn't I good? Look, that's all I've come out with. So I'm just going to turn you around. So it's my day off today. So I am going to chill, put my shopping away, catch up with some programs that I've recorded on the television. And I'm going to chill for the rest of the day. My daughter doesn't need me to go over there today. Um, she's going out with her friend, which is lovely. So still my phone's on. Um, high alert because she's her baby's due on sunday so um could be any day now so she's been having quite a lot of on off contractions but she's off out to the cinema today so i haven't got to pop over there and say hello i've just given her a quick text my other daughter's not very well so i might just she only lives two streets away so i might just pop her her twinkies around and have a quick coffee with her later on this afternoon but other than that i am going to chill and especially after i've just had a huge mcdonald's breakfast which was lovely. Now and again, I do treat myself and I sit in McDonald's and I had an Egg McMuffin meal with a coffee and a pancake meal with coffee. Very, very, very nice. So I'm going to sit down and let that just go down in my tummy. So it's great to see you all. Hope you've enjoyed this. Um, hopefully, maybe on Sunday, if we do get a chickens, I'll do an update on my chickens. I just so want to get them now. But obviously the weather's holding us back here at the moment. So um, maybe I'm hoping this weekend, but we'll just have to see. And um, if you like my um, little chit chat, my little haul, um, it'd be great if you subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you very much. It's actually got my subscribes up to 15 subscribers. Woohoo, 15. <laughs> so that's great. Thank you all for subscribing. And I hope you carry on liking my my vlogs um later on i when i get more used to doing them um i might do some cookery i might make a gypsy tart will probably be my first one that i'm gonna do but i said just get, get trying to get used to doing these and getting my confidence up etc so um hopefully maybe in a week or two weeks i'm gonna do a gypsy tart recipe for you which is so nice and if you liked it please press the like and if you're new, please subscribe. And I would like to see you all again. And thank you very much for watching and subscribing. Thanks a lot. See you later. Have a great day. Bye.